Very good evening. Mark C with the Lime Sports World. West Indies, West Indies cricket fans could be hanging their heads in disappointment for a while yet. A realistic view from Dr. Ernest Hilaire, CEO of the West Indies Cricket Board, is that it will take not a few matches, but a few years to rebuild West Indies cricket into a competitive side. I keep saying to everybody who asks me, what will you do about this team? They are an embarrassment. I tell them you have about three more years of embarrassment to, to witness. Because until the High Performance Center has a structure of support that has been created now to prepare the next generation, we will suffer a lot of embarrassments and a lot of awfulness. Because our present cricketers are not prepared. Dr. Hilaire was speaking on a panel discussion on the life and death of West Indies cricket at the UWI Kefil campus last night. He said that between the years 2000 and 2009, the WICB brought on at least 59 new test players. That's an average of almost six players a year. Last nine years, we've been chopping and changing, chopping and changing, chopping and changing, chopping and changing, and taking more young men, putting them out in the arena, international test arena only to be slaughtered, demoralized, dejected, and the development path they ought to take never really takes place. And again, I meet people who say to me, fire all those guys and bring in a new set. And I ask, where will the new set come from? Where is the new set that we're going to bring in? And I whispered to somebody who said to me, bring in the under 19, they came food at the ICC tournament. And I, I, I whispered that almost half of the under 19 team could barely read or write. Dr. Hilaire also believes that the performances are a reflection of the society in the region. I listen to our players speak, and they speak about money. That's all that matters to them, instant gratification. There's no sense of investing in the future. And, I, and again, I recall those days that we've lost a generation of young people, and society continues to fail our young people, and we are producing young people in this region that we expect when they play cricket for the West Indies, they will be paragons of virtue, they will be excellent in whatever they do. The simple fact is, we are not producing young men in this region that are capable of being world beaters in cricket. That's a simple fact. Still with the West Indies, the selectors have brought left-handed batsman Darren Bravo and all-rounder Dave Bernard Jr. into the 13-member squad for the third and fourth Digicel One Day Internationals against South Africa on Friday and Sunday, respectively, at Windsor Park in Dominica. Nikita Miller, Kimar Roach and Ramirez Sarawan are all unavailable for selection due to injuries. Miller has a right side strain, Roach is suffering from a left ankle soreness, and Sarah once strained his left hamstring. Andrea Fletcher, though, has just been dropped. The squad therefore reads Chris Gale, captain, Dwayne Bravo, vice, Suleiman Ben, Dave Bernard Jr., Darren Bravo, Shivan Ryan Shandapal, Narsing Dionarine, Karen Pollard, Dennis Ramdin, Ravi Rampal, Dale Richards, Darren Sami, and Jerome Taylor. Now the fifth one there and the first test of that Digicel series between the Windies and the Proteas have been moved. Those matches, which were originally scheduled for Sabina Park in Jamaica, will now be played at the Queen's Park Oval in Trinidad and Tobago. The move comes as a result of ongoing unrest in the western Kingston area in Jamaica over the extradition of alleged drug lord Christopher Judas Koch. A state of emergency is currently in effect in that area. And rain put paid to the fourth and final.